الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد دعوة أهل السنة the call to أهل السنة the da'wa and the propagation of Islam pure pristine Islam is the call of Ahl Sunnah Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah this is Ahl Hadith Ahl Athar the Salafiyun those who follow the Salaf al-Salih Ridwan Allahi alayhim and da'wa to Ahl Sunnah the da'wa ilallahi li ikhraj al-nas min dhulamat al-nur so da'wa to Ahl Sunnah it is calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to take the people from darkness into light. Women in Nar al Jannah, women Dalal al Huda, and it is also taking people from the fire to the paradise, from misguidance to guidance. Women Ibadat al Ibad, il Ibadat al Rabb al Ibad. And it is also calling people, and it is the propagation of calling people away from worshipping those things which are created, the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and taking them to the worship of Allah, the creator of all things, and the creator of the servants. He a minhaj salaf al salih wa sabil al mu'mineen al mutabi'een li afdal al mursaleen. This is the methodology of the Salaf al-Saleh, the pious predecessors. And this is the Sabil, or the path of the believers. Those who follow the best of the Prophets, alayhim afdal salatu wasalam, and the best of them is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. This is the da'wah to Ahl Sunnah. So, the call of people who adhere to the Salafi methodology. It just means that they take their religion from the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the Salaf al-Salih, meaning the Sahaba. The Sahaba is the asl of the Jama'ah. They're the origin of the Jama'ah. The Jama'ah of Ahl Sunnah begins with the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu as is bore witness in many, many narrations of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kama qala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnata khulafa rashidin al mahdiin as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said it is upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the four rightly guided uh, khalifat and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that when he described those people who will have success from the hellfire he said, وَسَتَفْتَرِكُوا هَذِي أُمَّا لَثَلَاثَ وَسَبْعِينَ فِرْقَ كُلُّهَا فِي النَّارِ لَوَاهِدًا قُلْ مَنْ هِيَ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ قَالَ مَنْ كَانَ عَلَى مِثْلِ وَمَا كَانَ عَلَيْهِ وَصَابِي The Prophet ﷺ explained to us who is going to be successful out of all of those sects that the Christians, they divided into 72 sects and the Jews into 71 and, the, and his Ummah into 73. All of them in the fire except for one. And he said, those uh, who follow my sunnah and the way of my companions. This is what the Prophet ﷺ said. So this is how we understand who the Salaf al is. Who is the Salaf? What does it mean when we call ourselves Salafi? It means we're trying to adhere to that methodology. It doesn't mean that we're given a tizkiyah for ourselves that we're going to be in paradise. No. No one knows where they're going to be. No one knows as the Prophet ﷺ said. Uh, in the Ahadakun, uh, and verily one of you, will be an arm spans a length away from the hellfire until what was written will overtake him and he will do the deeds of the fire and enter it. So none of you is guaranteed success. So no one makes tizkiyah to nafs that they believe that their selves is purified. La. But rather, you are just saying that you adhere to the methodology of the sahaba. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu. How do they understand aqidah? How do they understand fiqh? How do they understand mu'amalat? How do they interact with one another? How do they build their society? It's based on Kitab Allah wa Sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that's what Ahl Sunnah believes. That's what the Salaf al That's what the Salafiyin of this time, that's what they adhere to. The Imams of the Salaf, until today, use the term Salaf and ascribe themselves to the Quran and the Sunnah and the methodology of the companions. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. And 
there, as we mentioned, there are many names, Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, Ahl Hadith, Ahl Athar, Salafiyun. You'll find this in the books. You'll find this in the early books. And you'll find that the scholars of today, from Ahl Sunnah, that are Ma'roof bi Sunnah, that they use the term Salafi. They use the term Salafiyun. So those people who have a misunderstanding, or those people who call the Salafis a new group, or say Neo-Salafi, this is a misnomer. This is a term that contradicts itself. And it is a term based upon ignorance that anyone who is an educated person to use this term to say neo Salafi. How is it that you can be new but yet you adhere to the old? This is a contradiction in terms. So we ask the people to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and go back to the Quran and go back to the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and go back to the understanding of the Salaf Asari and fear Allah when you describe Ahl Sunnah because Ahl Sunnah is, is those people who follow Kitab wa Sunnah and those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the people who follow his follow Kitab wa Sunnah that doesn't mean you won't find mistakes amongst individuals La, that's not what we're saying but rather we're saying that follow the methodology follow the minhaj follow the way follow the madhab of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah the way of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and his companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد